So the third section from the, the test was all about coordinate geometry. Two questions in here. The first question was P is two or is minus two, one, and Q is four and five. Find the slope of PQ. Well, that is just going to be using the slope formula. If you have two points and you want to find the slope, you just use the slope formula. You're going to label your points x1, y1, x2, and y2. And we're going to sub it in. We're going to get m equals 5 minus 1 over 4. And then minus minus 2, that will become plus 2. And so then we'll have 4 over 6, which is 2 over 3. And so your slope there is going to be 2 over 3. What about this question? And this is the one that I kind of flagged to you in the class and talking about perpendicular slopes. The line J has a slope of 2 over 5. The line N is perpendicular to J and the equation of, their, or the line goes through the point 6 minus 1, find the equation. What do we need to find the equation? Well, the formula is Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. We need an X1 and Y1, which is a point. We have that. We need the slope. We don't have that, but we have this information that 2 over 5 is, a, is the slope of a perpendicular line. What does perpendicular mean again? It means that it makes a right angle. How do you find the slope of a perpendicular line? We have 2 over 5. We want to go to a perpendicular slope. We flip the fraction, 5 over 2, and then we change the sign. And so our new slope is going to be minus 5 over 2. So we're going to have y plus 1 minus minus 1 equals minus 5 over 2 times x minus 6. I'm going to multiply by 2 to get rid of the fraction. I'm going to have 2y plus 2 equals, and then I'm going to min multiply minus 5 in here, minus 5x plus 30. Bring everything over to the left. I'll have 5x plus 2y minus 28 equals 0. And that is our equation there. 